Today we're talking about the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, one of the most powerful and expensive military checks. aircraft in the world. Most people know it simply as the B-2, but its How's full name is the looking? Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit, and it's a game changer. In modern warfare, the B-2 is designed for stealth, meaning it can fly without being detected by enemy radar. But what makes this bomber different from others is how it achieves that stealth, even while flying nearly at the speed of sound. First off, the B-2 isn't your average aircraft. It has a 52-meter wingspan, which is wider than it is long. Two, put that in perspective. It's about the size of a football field. Despite its size, it remains invisible to radar, and that's what makes it so dangerous and effective. So how does this work? The B-2 has an incredibly low radar cross-section, just 0.1 square meters just tiny compared to something like a cargo plane, which can have a radar cross-section up to 100 square meters. This super low radar visibility makes the B-2 difficult to detect. Even from miles away, the bomber's wing design helps it remain undetected. It's not just about looks. This shape reduces drag, improving fuel efficiency, and helping the aircraft. Stay hidden. Thanks to this, the B-2 can travel. Over 11,000 kilometers, that's over 6,900 miles, a single tank of fuel. And if needed, it can be refueled mid-flight, allowing it to keep flying without stopping. But there's more to the B-2 than just radar-vating technology. It's built with radar-absorbing materials like carbon-graphite composites, which help reduce the heat signature from the engines. These materials make the B-2 even harder to detect by infrared systems that track heat 0.80% of the B-2 is made from these composite materials. And they not only help the bomber stay invisible to radar and infrared sensors, but they also make the plane stronger and more durable. In fact, the flexibility of the B-2U's wings is one of the reasons it can fly at such high speeds, helping it handle aerodynamic stress better than other planes. While the B-2 is designed to be stealthy, there are other ways enemies try to detect. Infrared systems detect heat, not just from engines, but also from the body of the aircraft as it moves through the air. To combat this, the B-2's engines are tucked deep inside its fuselage. Minimizing heat exposure to help the B-2 operate even when things go wrong, it's equipped with advanced sensors, gyroscopes, and radars instead of relying on GPS. The reason? GPS signals can be easily picked up by enemies. So, instead of GPS, the B-2 uses sensors that help pilots navigate using landmarks, which is much harder to track. As for navigation, a more secure military GPS system called IMCODE was developed. Specifically for aircraft like the B-2, making it more reliable and harder for enemies to jam or detect. When it comes to its weaponry, the B-2 Spirit is a powerhouse. It can carry up to 18 tons of bombs and missiles. It has internal bays for 500 pound, 750 pound, and even 2,000 pound bombs. And it can also carry nuclear bombs like the B-61 and B-83. On top of that, it's equipped with massive ordnance penetrators, checks. or MOPs, which are bombs designed to target hardened enemy facilities. How's the starboard wing Each looking? mop weighs about 5,300 pounds and is incredibly destructive. With all this firepower, the B-2 is known for being one of the most survivable aircraft in the world. It combines long range, stealth, and the ability to carry extremely heavy payloads. But of course, all this comes at a steep cost. The B-2 bomber itself cost around $737 million. Back in 1997, that's over $1.2 billion today after inflation, and the costs didn't stop there. The entire development and testing process for the B-2 Spirit ended up costing around $2.13 billion per aircraft. At the beginning, the U.S. military planned to buy 132 B-2 bombers. But after the Soviet Union collapsed, the numbers were reduced to just 75 in the end. Only 21 B-2 bombers were produced, and all of them are still in operation today. These aircraft are set to stay in service until at least 2032, making them over 30 years old by then. Interestingly, it took a lot of money and effort to create special facilities to house the massive wingspan of the B-2. 
including purchasing an old Ford plant and turning it into a facility that could accommodate these huge aircraft. One of the most interesting things about the B-2 is its maintenance. Each hour of flight requires 119 hours of maintenance, twice as much as older bombers like the B-1B or B-52. The cost of keeping the B-2 in the air is also high. Each hour of flight costs around $135,000 in maintenance and fuel. So what's it like to fly in the B-2? The cockpit is a little cramped, but it has everything the pilot needs. There are two seats, one for the instructor and one for the trainee. Both pilots have access to the controls at all times, and there's autopilot for handling the basics, like keeping altitude and direction. Space in the cockpit is limited, but there's enough room for basic supplies, like non-perishable food, and a blow-up mattress for long missions. While flying the B-2 is demanding, pilots are trained daily. To handle everything from air attacks to digital threats and weapon deployment, on top of that, they have to manage multiple screens showing everything from hydraulics to electrical systems, which makes the job incredibly stressful. Whether you agree with military power or not, it's hard to deny that the B-2 Spirit is an incredibly advanced aircraft combining stealth, firepower, and advanced technology to perform missions like no other aircraft can.